Hi, I'm Mark Fraunfelder with Make, and this weekend project addresses a problem that cat owners everywhere can relate to, cat fur getting on everything. My cats like to jump on furniture and shed their fur, which ends up getting transferred onto my clothes. And so to solve this problem, I created what I call the Monkey Couch Guardian. It's one of these old-fashioned symbol-banging monkeys hooked up to an Arduino and a proximity sensor, so that when a cat comes within range of this, the monkey's activated and makes all sorts of screeching and symbol-banging noise. And that encourages the cat to seek a quieter resting place. Here's Tyler to walk you through the build. The ever-vigilant Monkey Couch Guardian sits on a couch or bed. It uses an inexpensive proximity sensor connected to an Arduino to keep a lookout for trespassers. When a cat jumps on the furniture, the Arduino activates a relay, which switches on the symbol banging monkey, scaring the cat off the furniture. After 10 seconds, the Arduino tells the relay to turn the monkey off and return to surveillance mode. This is an easy project to build, even for first-time Arduino users, and full project details and schematics are available on the project page. Let's get started. Check out the project page for a complete list of parts that you'll need, but the key parts of this build are a battery-powered monkey, an Arduino, a proximity sensor, and a relay. And you'll also want these tools. The first thing you'll want to do is download the Arduino code for the Monkey Couch Guardian from the links found on the Weekend Project page. Open the code in the Arduino IDE software and upload it to the Arduino using a standard USB cable. Next, it's time to hack your monkey. To tap into your monkey's power supply, just connect two wires across the battery terminals in the monkey. Test the connections by touching the other ends of the wire together. The monkey should start banging his cymbals together and screeching when the wires touch. Now, we'll build the circuit that runs everything. Follow the schematic diagram on the project page. It gives you an overview of the circuit along with a layout diagram that shows how it's breadboarded. Insert the relay into the solderless breadboard straddling the center trench. We're only using four of the five pins, which we'll refer to as A, B, C, and D. Then connect the PIR sensor to the Arduino. You can use a standard three wire servo extension cable or simply solder hookup wire to the pins. Feed the sensor power from the 5 volt pin on the Arduino and connect ground to ground. The signal pin on the sensor will connect to pin 12 on the Arduino. Now you're ready to connect the Arduino to the relay. Simply patch pin 13 on the Arduino to pin A on the relay and connect pin B to the Arduino's ground. You can power the Arduino with USB, with an AC adapter, or with battery power. I recommend battery power as it makes the system portable. You can also install a toggle switch for the power so you can turn the whole project off when not in use. Using the breadboard, connect the two wires from the monkey to the relay. One wire will go to pin C, the other will go to pin D. It doesn't matter which wire goes to which pin. An optional step is to add an LED power indicator so that you know your monkey is ready to guard your furniture. Simply connect a 220 ohm resistor and an LED in series between the three volt pin and the ground on the Arduino. Now that you're done building your circuit, it's a good idea to test it. Apply power to the Arduino. If the proximity sensor detects motion, the Arduino will trigger the relay and the monkey will activate for five seconds, then go quiet for at least 15 seconds before rearming. Mark used a cigar box for his enclosure, but you can use the Radio Shack enclosure specified in the parts list on the project page, or use any enclosure you like that will hold the breadboard and the Arduino. Mount the proximity sensor, the toggle switch, and the LED on the front of the enclosure. Secure the Arduino, breadboard, and battery on the floor of the enclosure so that the wiring won't come undone when the monkey jiggles the box. The breadboard has adhesive backing. You can use the adhesive tape or hot glue for the other bits. Then drill holes in the top of the enclosure and use zip ties to secure the monkey. You don't want to deal with a runaway monkey. When the monkey couch guardian is switched on, any motion within about 20 feet will trigger the sensor. The monkey will start shrieking and clanging his cymbals, scaring away any unwanted furry intruders. Aim your monkey's sensor strategically so that it detects motion only in forbidden areas. Experiment with masking the sensor with tape or partially blocking it with objects. Then you can leave it on and walk past it without the monkey harassing you. Have an exciting new application or mod for this project? Let us know on the project page and rest assured that a noisy monkey is keeping your furniture pet hair free.